Greetings, everybody. Greetings. I know you're tired. I know it's been a long day. And we're very blessed and privileged to be here. My name is Akuba Grace Sponsor, and this is the writing, acting, publishing project for youngsters. I mean, we're in a very privileged position. Maybe we're under more pressure because since last year, we've been invited back and we've had the luck and just we're overwhelmed with today. We have been blessed to have our book published thanks to the LMA, Golden Overture Press. And Today, mm -hmm. Just by the book, in the acknowledgements page, you will see how many people have been involved in our project. Uh, there were about 10, 13 last year. We've got, I don't know, I've lost count now, maybe 20, 20 something today. We are actually, there are over 40 members, 35 are in the book. Not all of them could be here right now. Not all of them are going to perform right now. But the ones who are not performing, I'm still going to call their names. We have Nathan Harry, we have Laura, the big thing, we have Nathan. Warner, we have Joshua, John Wilson, we have Raheem Lewis, we have Michael Labby, and we have Daniel Labby, and we have Paul Labby. So it's not that we couldn't include them all, and some didn't want to perform. So what we're going to do today, we're going to have five who are going to perform some works from their book, from this book. Yeah? And the rest have put together, including Tayo, a collective poem around the theme, Stand Up For Your Rights. Alright? So that's how it's going to go. Um, we start with our youngest member, Effie, seven years of age. <laughs> Heidi, the ground shakes and people run away. Animals hurting, children eating food and water, no water to drink. Roots of houses start to break. Go on. Come on. But not everyone is safe. Uh. <laughs> we have a young girl, she'll introduce herself. She wrote a short story. She's just going to give her the first line. You'll have to buy the book to find out how the story goes. There once was a little boy who was ten years old who had lost his parents. He wanted to go and see his sister Shad, so he did. And on the way he played his flute. When he sat near his sister, Shad gave him a big hug and said, Long time no see. That is a terrible and she's seven years of age. Man with the mat. My name's Tayo and I'm going to, I'm going to read a poem Space As he leaves the alien spaceship, he fires lasers and he misses. He decides to build his own ship to adventure out the unknown zone. Jonathan was so mad he built a rocket as fast as he could and rushed up into the stars and got the alien so he could use it as an action figure. <laughs> It puts families through a lot of strain. It brings destruction which not all come through. Just be thankful that it wasn't you. But when a disaster takes place, it comes at an unstoppable pace. We must give support to those it's hit, make sure that they don't lose hope and quit. Through the tunnel of desperation and pain, it's a place where bad feelings are slain. So don't lose hope, repair what's been hit, because it won't happen if you quit. So remember this when you feel like giving in. You still have the ability to win. Don't let the stress of everything take you. You be strong, you're one of the remaining few. People admire you, you're strong and brave. You've made it out of the first cave. The road ahead will be tough and long. You will just have to remain strong. What you went through is so unfair, but please acknowledge that we all care. We'll try to help you through this mess. We send our regards and may the Lord bless.
My name's Charlotte, my poem is called Writer's Block. I'm sitting at my desk, but I don't know what to write. I've got ideas in my head, but they won't win the fight. My mind's working overtime, trying to think of something new. I don't know what to write, and I don't know what to do. I'm not normally like this, I can write down in a flash. But if I stress anymore, I'm going to get a rash. Mom says, wait till the morning, you don't need to hurry. You'll get something in the morning, just don't worry. So I took her advice and slept it out, but in the morning, still nothing came out. Thank you so much. You did very well. Not that the youngest was the only one who did it without the book. <laughs> she, she really tried very hard. She's seven. Thank you all. And we also want to thank our volunteers. And there are some here today, and there are others not here. Please. hold the mic and pass it around. It might be a bit complicated, but yeah, we need the mic, okay? Right, who's going first? This poem is called Stand Up For Your Rights. Be yourself, don't delay. Get up, stand up, and don't be afraid. Just be happy with the way you're made. Because after this, you can't be changed. Just stay within your range. And be happy. You're not locked in a cage. Just turn the page and keep track of your age because you'll be lifted to the next stage. With people supporting you all the way. Don't give up the facts, stand up for your right. <laughs> Have a great day, let him turn the lane. Responsibilities will soon come your way. Always believe in your heart. And create space for your heart. For your heart. There you go. who can't be here today, 2008, we're still going strong, struggling with funding, but hey, we've even put together some wacky words of wisdom just to make some money, you know what I'm saying? We've got a DVD out, and we hope we will continue to grow with your support. Thank you, everybody. Everybody here say, give back to everybody. This, this is the unscripted bit. I see my light come shining from the west onto the east. Any day now, any day now, I shall be released. I don't know if you've heard that song, but I don't know whether that's how Grace is speaking. Because Swaggy does have a bit of a pause after today. The book is called The Soul of a Child, and it's pretty well sold out today, which is wonderful. I'm here to... It's a privilege. There's some moments in your life that are a privilege to be and to be gathered together in this community today is a rare thing for all of us, for me especially. It's a privilege and an honour. And the reason I'm doing this is not just for myself, but for the whole Wacky Collective who want to say a special word to Akuma. It's probably going to render her speeches. So, <laughs> leave her without much to say, but she is um, a role model, what can you say? It's been three years. It's been three years that she has tirelessly and without stinting her own interests, devoted energy, time, care to Abby and to all the children in her care. This is a moment to say thank you to her for everything she has done for all the children and all the parents and all the volunteers that have been involved with WAPI through this time. My task is just to present Grace with a little token. There's chocolates in there, there's a bottle of wine. More importantly, 
there's a card which as many of us as possible have signed as a token of our, what can we say, esteem, our admiration, and a token of the inspiration that you are. You didn't get to do your snot. He is an amazing artist, a Quay. So he deserves a clap for his art. Thank you. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry for the world. We also have been blessed to have a contribution to a live jewel published by Black Londoners for the Haiti earthquake that affected so many people's lives. If you notice, some of the young people here did touch upon that. So we need to give the organisers of the live show, the publishers also, good acknowledgement. And, um, it's very interesting. I, mean, I said this to the children, I'm going to sound a bit crazy now, but believe in your dreams, you know, because some 15 years ago, I had a dream I saw my father. I'm from Ghana, and in Ghana, I'm from the western part of Ghana, where Nkrumah comes from. And in that dream, in Inzuma, I was stand sitting on the floor in, in the house, and there were lots of children, this is typical, lots of children sitting around, it's very communal, lots of children, not just from your own home, all the neighbouring homes, and elders and family members. And there was my father, lying across the couch. Now, he died in 1976, 19th of February. 35 years ago today, and 15 years ago, I dreamt that he was sitting on this couch and I was storytelling. And I wasn't storytelling then. So, you know, follow your dreams because they do come true. Thank you, Mama. Yeah. Thank you.